Hey y'all, Mike here from All American Reviews, and today I'm talking about how to find fishing gear made in the USA. It doesn't really matter what you're fishing for, if you don't have the right rod, reel, and tackle that you can rely on, you may have a snap line or two, and your cooler may feel a little light at the end of the day. Fortunately, there are a lot of great fishing gear manufacturers made in the USA, you just gotta know where to find them. So, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to spot fishing gear made in the USA, my top picks for American made fishing gear, and make sure to stick around to the end of the video where we'll be answering some frequently asked questions. I've also written about this exact same topic before, so check in the description below for a link to that article. And if you're passionate about buying American made products, give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and make sure to head over to allamericanreviews.com. There you'll find a ton of research and buying guides on shopping American made. Let's get started with today's video on how to find fishing gear made in the USA. First up, let's cover how to spot which fishing gear is made in the USA. It doesn't really matter what gear you're buying. To find out if a product is made in the USA, we are really looking for two things in particular. First, is it designed and assembled here? And second, are they sourcing all of their raw materials domestically? I'll come back to assembly. Let's focus on raw materials sourcing here for a minute, which is arguably the harder piece of the puzzle to figure out. Starting with fishing reels, these are primarily made from some combination of aluminum alloy, which is going to be stronger, graphite, which is going to be lighter, and stainless steel. Now, like I covered in previous videos, the US is actually not the global leader in manufacturing for these raw materials, but there are a lot of good American-made options that manufacturers can choose from for sourcing these materials. Moving on to fishing rods, these primarily come in three varieties, graphite, fiberglass, and some new generation composite materials. Rod manufacturers are also a lot of times using cork for the handle. All of these materials can be sourced locally except for cork, which actually comes from the cork oak, a tree that is almost exclusively found in the Mediterranean region of the world. So countries like Portugal, Spain, Algeria, and others are the primary exporters of cork. And finally, finishing up with lines, lures, and other tackle, these can come from a lot of different materials. Lines are made of plastic and come as monofilament, which is a single fiber of plastic, or braided, which is multiple fibers of plastic. And lures are all over the place. They come from plastic, rubber, metal, and a bunch of other materials, so just make sure to check the source on those. So, there are a lot of materials to consider when you're searching for fishing gear made in the USA. Fortunately, we also have some pieces of US legislation on our side. The most powerful of those is Title 19, Chapter 4, Section 1304 of the United States Code, which basically just says that any product that is imported must be labeled as such on the product or packaging with the country of origin. Unfortunately, that actually doesn't apply to marketing materials. A lot of brands aren't super clear on their website or in their other marketing materials where their products are actually assembled and sourced from. So watch out for wording, especially for companies that are using made in the USA language and watch out for those qualifiers like assembled in the USA or uh, made in the USA with global materials. And if you're super unsure, you can always give the brand a call or head over to All American Reviews and see if we've done the research for you. I cover all of these tips on finding the country of origin and more in my full video on how to tell if a product is made in the USA, so if you haven't already, definitely give that a watch. Alright, now that we've covered some tips on spotting fishing gear made in the USA, let's get into my top picks for American made fishing gear. Now there are a lot of great fishing gear manufacturers that are making all of their stuff in the USA and more than I have time to cover in today's video. So, for all of our research on fishing gear, make sure to head over to All American Reviews. I'll link to those articles in the description below. We're going to start with some reels, then get it into some rods, and then finish up with some other tackle. First up is Able Reels. Able Reels focuses on making fly fishing reels. They were started in 1980 and are based in Colorado. They make a lot of different fly reels, both for salt and fresh water, as well as some tools and accessories that you can take along with you, like a pocket knife, a nipping tool, and pliers, all of which are made in the USA. Our favorite reel of theirs is the Able TR Fly Reel, which I think is a top-notch option for freshwater trout fishing. 
Next is Ross Reels. Ross Reels is actually a sub-brand of Abel Reels and is also made in Colorado. The reason I wanted to include them on this list is because of their saltwater fly reels. The Evolution LTX is a great saltwater fly reel with a really smooth drag and is something that is going to last you a lifetime. So if you're a saltwater fly fisherman, definitely check out Ross Reels. Next is IRT Reels. IRT stands for Innovative Reel Technologies. They were started in 2007 and are making some really high quality spinning reels. Their owner, Greg Heater, started the company after he saw a local fishing reel manufacturing company close their doors after outsourcing all of their manufacturing overseas. He's made a commitment to American manufacturing and it really shows in the quality of their fishing reels. I like their IRT 200 reel in particular. It can be used in fresh or salt water and is just really durable and smooth. Next is Thomas and Thomas fly rods. They were founded in 1969 by Tom Dorsey and Tom Maxwell, hence the Thomas and Thomas name, and are based in Massachusetts. They have a lot of great fresh and salt water rods, but I like their Exoset fly rods in particular, which are a great salt water fly rod. Next is Cajun rods. Cajun Rods was founded in 2007 and is a relatively small manufacturer of carbon fiber fishing rods. If you're looking for a great spinning or casting rod, it is really hard to beat these guys. Cajun Rods has freshwater, inshore saltwater, as well as offshore saltwater varieties, so make sure to check them out. I like the Atlid series in particular, which is a great inshore saltwater rod. Next is Eagle Claw Hooks. Eagle Claw is a staple in the world of fishing tackle and they make all of their famous fish hooks at their facility in Denver, Colorado. So if you need some hooks, check out Eagle Claw. Next is Cortland Line Company. Cortland has been making fly lines and braided fishing lines for over 100 years and their lines are some of the best in the industry. They have a lot of line varieties for both fly fishing and sport fishing. So whenever you need to replenish your line supply in your tackle box, definitely check out Cortland. And the last brand I'll cover in today's video is Thomas Fishing Lures. These folks are making some great spoons, spinners, and other fishing lures all right here in the USA. Their EP spoon in particular is a crowd favorite. I definitely have a couple in my tackle box. So if you need some really high quality spinning lures, definitely check out Thomas Fishing Lures. Now let's get to some frequently asked questions. First up, are Shimano reels and rods made in the USA? And the answer is no, Shimano is actually a Japanese company. Next, are Zebco reels and rods made in the USA? And the answer is no, the classic Zebco reel is actually made in China nowadays. Next, are Pure Fishing tackle brands made in the USA? So Pure Fishing is a big holding company with a lot of tackle brands that you may recognize like Ugly Stick, Stren, Shakespeare, and others. Not every brand or product in that catalog is made in the USA. So for example, Ugly Stick is making most of their rods overseas, but Stren makes a lot of their fishing line in the USA. So just make sure to do your research and give the brand a call. And lastly, are pen reels made in the USA? And the answer is only a few pen reels are made in the USA. Everything else is manufactured overseas. We have a full article on pen reels on All American Reviews, where we actually go into those specific models that are manufactured here and everything else that's manufactured overseas. So I'll link to that research in the description below. That's it for this video on how to find fishing gear made in the USA. If y'all have any questions, drop a comment below or leave us a message at All American Reviews and we'll find an answer for you and write something up. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe and thanks for supporting your country and shopping American made. See y'all next time.